Hi everyone, this is Dr. Stat from the platform of Research and Analysis. In today's video, we will discuss regression analysis using SPSS. So first of all, we will discuss the theoretical aspect of regression analysis and after that, I will run the regression in SPSS. Regression analysis is a statistical method that allows a researcher to examine the relationship between two or more variables. More specifically, regression analysis is a set of statistical processes for estimating the relationships between dependent variables which is often known as outcome variables and one or more independent variables which are known as predictors. So here is the basic regression equation uh, which, which is y is equal to a plus bx. Here y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable. a is the y-intercept and b is the slope of the line. Before going further, it is very important to understand the difference between correlation and regression. First, correlation assesses the degree of relationship between two variables, while the regression analysis is about how one variable affects another or what changes it triggers in the other variable. Correlation only captures the degree of interrelationship between the two variables while the regression is based on casualty it does not only show the degree of connection but also the cause and effect. When we calculate the correlation between x and y it is the same as between y and x. When, while we, when we talk about the regression uh, let's say regression of x and y and y and x yield completely different results. So in simple word, we can say that uh, in case of regression analysis, order is very important. But in case of correlation analysis, uh, the order is does not matter at all. Because it only shows the association between two variables but whenever we talk about regression analysis in that in that case there are some independent variables and some other are the dependent variables finally the graphical representation of a correlation is a single point whereas a linear regression is visualized by a line next there is the coefficient of determination it is very important to understand these concepts as well when we talk about the regression analysis. The coefficient is commonly known as R square and also known as the coefficient of determination. The coefficient of determination is used to explain how much variation of one factor can be caused by its relationship to another factor. R square is a statistic used in the context of statistical models where main purpose is either the prediction of a future outcomes or the testing the hypothesis. In simple words, we can say that the R square describes how difference in one variable can be explained by the difference in second variable. Finally, the regression coefficient. The regression coefficient is the slope of the regression line and tells you what is the nature of the relationship between the variable. The regression coefficient describes that how much change in the independent variable is associated with how much change in the dependent variable. The beta coefficient can be negative or positive. If beta coefficient is positive, the interpretation is that for every one unit increase in the predictor variable, the outcome variable will be increased by the beta coefficient value. If the beta coefficient is negative, the interpretation is that for every one unit increase in the predictor variable, the outcome variable will be decreased by the beta coefficient value. For example, if the beta coefficient is 0.90, 
and statistically significant then for each one unit increase in the predictor variable the outcome variable will be increased by 0.90 units and if the beta coefficient is minus 90 and statistically significant which is very important then for each one unit increase in the predictor variable the outcome variable will be decreased by 0 0.90 units so this is the little bit theoretical background of the regression analysis now we will discuss how to run the regression analysis in SPSS So this is the data sheet and now we will run the regression in SPSS. Here just go to analyze. Whenever you need to do any sort of analysis always go and go to analyze then you can look at and whatever you want to do but here we are we need to do the regression just go to regression and then just click linear regression linearize reset just put the dependent variable in the dependent box and your independent variable in the independent box then just go to statistic here you can just estimate model fit and yes you can use this click r square change as well yes and you can also click just all those options as per your requirements but in most of the cases whenever we are just going to examine the hypothesis this just these options are enough you can just continue and just click ok and this is the output window here you can see First, just confirm your dependent variable this in our case the dependent variable is transfer training and the independent variable which is the predictor is the training retention and this is the model you can see the r square the value of all scale is 0.223 and finally the coefficient you can see the beta value is 0.504 and then the standardized coefficient beta is 0.473 and you can see it is significant which means that for every one unit increase in the training retention the transfer of training will be increased by 0.473 but in case we have multiple independent variables just uh, then how to run multiple regression just go to analyze again regression linear regression and just, just we can reset put the dependent variable in the dependent box and put all your independent variable in independent box and here you can just put estimate yes r square change and simply you can just click ok so again this is the output file and here you can see the r square which is 0 0.298 and then you can see the coefficients um, their beta value and here the significance and you can see that out of three independent variable only there is only significant relationship between training retention and transfer of training while the relationship between other independent variable with their transfer of training is insignificant so this is how you can run multiple regression in SPSS if you have any further question, you can write in the comments. Thanks for watching.